Tens of thousands of mainstream journalists are being laid off in what's being called an extinction event for corporate journalism. Of course, for regular Americans, that all sounds pretty fantastic, given those corporate journalists have become woke Marxist activists whose main purpose is gaslighting voters into the revolution. Meaning it might be a very good thing if those scribblers put away their keyboards and learn how to, say, install drywall. The pace is now quickening with last week's wide-ranging layoffs at the LA Times, once among America's most prestigious newspapers. They laid off 20% of their staff, including 115 journalists, and including their entire DC bureau in an election year, along with gutting sports, tech business, and even breaking news media's traditional bread and butter. Meanwhile, BuzzFeed just shuttered its news division, which was once worth $1.3 billion and is now down 98%. Sports Illustrated just closed altogether. We've seen major layoffs at Time Magazine, Atlantic, The Washington Post, NPR, Bloomberg, and Condé Nast, which publishes the New Yorker and Vanity Fair. Even the New York Times cut 240 jobs after the gray lady lost tens of millions last year. In all, according to Axios, 20,000 media jobs were cut last year, which is up six times from the previous year. And so far in 2024, they appear to be accelerating. So what's driving it? In short, a loss of trust, which is turning off readers, taking ad revenue along with them. After all, if people don't trust you, they won't subscribe, many won't even read. In fact, Americans' trust in media has plummeted to a record low, with just one in three Americans saying they have any trust in the media. A record high of Americans, so almost 40%, say they have zero trust in the media at all. Just 29% of independent voters trust media and a dismal 11% of Republicans. Of course, together, those two groups make up over two-thirds of the country. Even Democrats are losing faith, with trust dropping 18 points since COVID, driven especially by younger Democrats who no longer believe that journalists tell the truth. And suddenly, trust in media has fallen straight lines since 2018, which is when they threw off the mask of objectivity starting with Trump and then trying to cancel everybody from Alex Jones and Milo Yiannopoulos to all of us, converting themselves into the intellectual bodyguard of the Marxist elite, carrying water on everything from the vax to the BLM riots to, of course, transitory inflation and the miracle that is Bidenomics. It's hard to rebuild trust after all of that. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. The corporate media isn't just dying, it is actively killing itself. Replaced by grassroots news sources, who are often more expert and certainly are more honest. The news media will continue lying, they'll continue attacking their readers, they'll continue trying to censor you. The same game plan that has been wiping them out, and in the process progressively removing themselves from the conversation altogether. I'd actually expected to accelerate, Elon Musk has built a distribution channel on X or Twitter, where the alternative media can finally compete on a level playing field with the dinosaurs. For example, these daily videos get half a million views produced on an iPhone and a $100 mic, and there are thousands like me who are eager to replace the lying activists who run our dying mediocracy. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.